If you are new, welcome. My name is Destiny and this is The Blessed Life with the Johnsons. So today, obviously guys, it is Monday. So I am back with another mommy's talk. Um, So let's go ahead and wrap this up and get right on into this video. Okay guys, so I kind of just wanted to come on here and give you guys um, my top three reasons as to why we opted into sending our daughter back to school. Yes, I am a stay at home mom. Yes, it'd be easier to um, homeschool her, but I'm going to let you guys in on my insight, and yeah, so let's get into it. Okay, so reason number one is the fire my daughter has for school. Guys, she was so devastated at the end of last school year. Um, well, sh should I say at spring break last school year? Because... Once she got let out for spring break, she was never able to go back to school. Um, and her teacher, she actually didn't get to see her teacher at all because Harmony was sick earlier that week. And then once she was finally able to go back to school, her teacher was out the last couple of days sick as well. Um, so she was devastated that she didn't get to see her teacher. Like y'all, I have been, she has been asking about school since a homegirl was able to talk clearly like y'all think i'm playing but i'm so like legit honest right now like she has been begging like dying just to go to school so i felt like her doing the whole virtual learning here at school like it was fun and all that but harmony when she's around us she's shy like she's not as open as she could be if she's not around us if that makes sense so it's like it's almost like she's scared to show her classmates or her teachers love as if we're gonna get on to her or something so zoom was fun she got to see her friends and her teacher but i know it wasn't the same for her as if she was there with them so um we just thought it would be better for her emotionally socially like in all aspects um and my baby just has a light inside of her that she needs to share with other kids. Like, you know, like her ins, her imagination, her look on life, like her love for Jesus, you guys. Like, I love to hear her talk about Jesus and I love to hear her sing about Jesus. Like, you know, and I feel like that needs to be shared with other kids. Like, yeah those kids can show things to her that aren't as good, but just as well as people feed into us we also feed into people guys so reason number two um would be we have to let our faith be bigger than our fear you guys i lived in fear for long enough of this virus like you get what i'm saying bad enough to the point to where it took us literally getting it for me to finally be like okay nope that's enough like you know i need we need to be able to live as best as we can like you know not as best as we can but as good as normal as possible i don't know how to even say it but we need to get back into the gear thing guys the more we try to shut ourselves off and keep ourselves cooped up the longer it's going to take for this to go away and for us to be able to get to a new normal i'm not gonna say get back to normal but get used to a new normal guys like we all just have to come to an agreement guys and yes like the media can be scary everything that you're seeing can be scary the school in georgia having all these people test positive can be scary you guys but like i said you have to let your faith be bigger than your fear what you believe is going to be what manifests so if you're saying and you have to truly believe you can't say oh i believe god's gonna protect us but then again like at the same time you're like is he really gonna protect us like you're questioning him like no you gotta know god's gonna protect you you gotta know that you are covered by the blood of jesus and that nothing no weapon formed against you shall prosper so that's reason number two. number three i am the biggest the hugest germaphobe so i feel like i am darned if i do darned if i don't 
meaning. Before all of this, guys, I have always had hand sanitizer, Clorox wipes, all of it, the whole nine yards, especially this one. Ask people how annoyed they got with me with this one, guys. <laughs> so every time somebody asked to, hit, to hold him, they already knew, let me get some hand sanitizer. So um, that's just another thing is I did everything by the book that they're saying this disinfected frequently touched uh surfaces here in our house i disinfected all light switches doorknobs the water thing on the refrigerator the handles the whole nine yards guys stools chairs tables couch tv remotes disinfected everything every single morning you guys see my clean every single morning i disinfected this house and we still got it so I feel like why sit here and basically try to wait out a virus whenever if you have people going out, if you're going out yourself, you can be put at risk. So there, after seeing how the virus was from a baby on up to a 40 something year old, it can be very hard to know whether it's allergies or if it's COVID, to know whether if it's strep or it's COVID, to know whether if it's the flu or it's COVID, like you know, so people are just out walking around. Like we had friends that also had it and they were asymptomatic. So guys, like don't let you, again, don't let your fear be bigger than your faith, y'all. If y'all feel comfortable enough to take your kids out to parks, to take your kids out to, go hang out with friends, to let your kids have friends come stay over, to let your kids go stay over at friends' house, to let them go hang out at the mall. If you are still letting your kids be social, let them go to school. There's masks that I've looked over our school district's protocols, guys, and I feel safe, I feel fine. We got to walk to school, I feel safe, I feel fine. I literally wish I could take you guys and just have y'all walk through there with me, guys, so y'all could see why I feel fine, guys. God is bigger than anything that is here in this earth, you guys. And if we look to him and place all of our trust in him and give our children to him, guys, they're going to be blessed and they are going to be prosperous and God is going to cover them. We just have to truly and wholeheartedly believe that, guys. That's the honestly the only true thing that I can tell you guys. The main reason why I am sending my daughter to school is because God. I know God will protect us. And if it happens, okay, it happens. We go on quarantine for two weeks. We do the virtual learning for those two weeks. And she will be going back to school, you guys. I don't see the point in shutting my life down anymore and keeping us cooped up in the house anymore. Like, guys, school is my baby girl's only let out, y'all. I literally barely, after us having COVID, son, he has a tooth coming in. After us having COVID, like, that's really whenever I drew the line. Um, and I let them start going places because literally from March all the way up until July 10th, my kids really hadn't been going anywhere. They had been going to go stay with Vivi, but she's our family friend. She don't go nowhere but working home. So they had been going to go stay with her. They'd go stay with their Nana every now and then. But go as far as going into stores and going out to eat and any of that, no. We weren't. We were, when we would eat out, we'd pick it up and bring it home. But even still, when the restaurants had opened, we were not eating in them, guys. Like, we were staying put up. And like I said, we still got it. So... I hope you guys enjoyed my insight as to why I am sending my daughter to school and I hope it kind of just gave you a little bit of a peace of mind and um, not really going to say help made up your mind but I always know some people would be like well why is she sending her kid to school and she stays home like you know like yes I stay home I'm a full time stay at home mom. But I got two other littles I gotta worry about. Like, you know, not saying that she's too much, but if I can take the help while I have it, then I'm gonna take it, y'all know? So, um, and then like I said, I have to let my faith be bigger than my fear. And I believe wholeheartedly that God is gonna protect our baby girl and that he's gonna let them have a very blessed and prosperous school year and that 
they're just gonna learn so much and grow so much and it's gonna be amazing you guys and before we know it we'll be into a new normal y'all if you guys enjoyed this video please just give it a huge thumbs up and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let me know some topics y'all talk to me let me talk to y'all give me some things to talk about <laughs> but all right my loves bye guys <laughs>